now our topic is distance versus time graph so by this distance versus time graph we have to derive velocity so first of all distance versus time graph if we are having this graph this is 5 10 15 20 and in seconds 1 2 3 4 so if our distance time graph is a straight line it is starts from 0 that means this object is moving uniformly so it is called uniform motion now from this graph if we want to find velocity between two particular points means for some time interval that we want to find so if we want to find from one second to three seconds now what we have to do to find velocity we have to make points for this and another point here right so simply we have to find the slope of that graph by finding slope of that graph we can find velocity so v is nothing but the slope of distance time graph now slope of distance time graph i have to write here a b and c so first of all v is equal to this distance means a b length upon this distance means bc length now ab right so this is our v2 this is our v1 similarly this is our t2 this is our t1 so ab means v2 minus v1 upon bc means t2 minus t1 so here actually this is d v2 i derive it is at v2 but it is d2 it is distance so i can't derive it with velocity so here i have to write d2 minus d1 because that is these are positions right so d2 what is d2 d2 is 15 15 minus d1 here 5 t2 what is t2 3 t1 is 1 so 15 minus 5 10 by 3 minus 1 2 so it will be 5 so our velocity is 5 meter second was throughout this time interval from 1 to 3. Similar we can find 2 to 4 also with same method. Right. So during this particular motion during this time interval our velocity will be constant because it is uniform motion. So we are getting this is as straight line. Now further our second graph is like this again it is distance versus time but now our graph is not linear it is not now straight line it is curvy linear so by this graph we can observe that that with the same time interval here distance is not changes with same so for same time interval distance may be different so that's why it is called non-uniform motion right so we can find non-uniform motion so that is our distance time graph with this time gra distance time graph we can derive some data and according to that data we can find velocity of respective data.